surprise Patsy. So I've popped on today to do a walkthrough of this new deck that I've got. Um, it's been sitting on my side for a couple of days and I've been itching to walk, work with it, but I wanted to do the walkthrough and I just haven't had a chance. So it's the uh, Complete Arthurian Tarot um, by Caitlin and John Matthews with cards illustrated by Miranda Gray. And it includes a classic deck with revised and updated courses. Um, on the back, it's by Edison Books Limited, and on the back it says, A hallowed quest for all seasons, step into a, a world of myth and legend. This brand new collector's edition features a classic Arthurian tarot deck with a completely revised and updated course book, allowing you to acquaint yourself with this rich tarot in greater depth. Journey into Arthur's kingdom through the 22 greater powers of the Arthurian realm, together with the 56 lesser powers depicting the landscapes of the ancient Arthurian kingdom that lies outside of time. This book includes a complete meditation course leading you around the year with the characters of the Arthurian world as your guides and teachers, along with detailed card readings, divination methods and a wide selection of consultation spreads. By following the seasonal quest for the Hallows, the ancient treasures of the goddess of the land, you discover the spiritual empowerments of your soul's purpose. Meditate on the suits of sword, spear, grail and stone to assimilate the teachings of the cards and establish your own access to the realms within the timeless kingdom and King Arthur and his courts. So that is, it comes in a two-part box, good sturdy box. And there's the book it's a huge book and i've had a flick through this book and it it looks really in, really in depth um you get the content in the introduction you get the cards and their meanings the hello quest course um so you get lessons one to five preparing the hello quest part two is the quest of the sword spring part three the quest of the spear for the spear summer um Part four, the quest for the grail, autumn. Part five, the quest for the stone, winter. Part six is the way of the hallows. It's um, a study program and it looks really, really good. I mean, it, it goes so in depth, this book. It's just hard to kind of go through with you, everything what's in there. Um, but this is what you get for the cards, for each of the cards. You get the black and white image in the corner. Then you get a couple of pages of text and then you get upright meanings, reverse meanings and then questions to ask yourself in a reading. And then about halfway through the book or just before you get the Hallowquest course and it says the Hallowquest course explores the realms within that are depicted on the Arthurian tarot cards. It is a template of your own quest and of your soul's journey. As you meditate your way through successive seasons of study, the path of the land's adventurous as the trail of the quest was known in Arthurian legend, suddenly becomes your own landscape. As you continue, you will find divining with the cards much easier because you have personally discovered information from each card. May your steps on this quest be guided by the companions that you will, will attend you. Um, and then it gives you lesson one meditation and diary keeping. Um, and, it's, and it goes into thinking with that. Um, there's just so much information, daily record, um, how to do a daily record, daily tarot companion spreads, um, and there's, like I said, a lesson, lesson two is the seeker in the wasteland, um, and, it, and it goes, tells you how to practice all of this, and then you'll go on to lesson three, so it's like a whole year's worth of lessons in here, going through the four seasons, and this is what I'm going to start doing, um, starting with, obviously with spring, because we're in spring, um, so I'm really looking forward to, to doing a card um, a day um, over the next few months and get to know this tarot a lot better. And um, yeah, the book is excellent. So the cards come in two parts in the box like that. Let's see if I can get them out. I'll try to get them out. I might have to tip them up to get them out. My fingers don't want to go all the way down. There we go, that's one lot. Ooh, that's one lot, making a mighty mess of this, haven't I? The bottom two tend to get stuck in there. But there we go, I've got them now. So, 
I don't really like when they um, separate the cards like that because I never think they completely go together. And I don't know if you can you can see where they would split. So it's not. But I can understand when they put a big book in like that, then they need to do that. But that's the backs. Gorgeous backs. I don't like how they put the copyright in the corners, but a lot of them do that. Um, Cloud stock is really good. So let's have a look, shall we? So we have, they're all name changes on these, um, but it does explain the name changes in their book. So we have The Seeker. We have Merlin, the Lady of the Lake, Guinevere, for the Empress, Arthur for the Emperor, Talisman, Talisman for the Hierophant, the White Heart for Lovers. I'm not very good with these names. Pridwin, Pridwin. I mean, the images on this are gorgeous. Gawain. You'll have to excuse how I'm pronouncing these because I'm not very good at Celtic, um, Gaelic um, pronunciations. And this one is the Grail Hermit. Isn't that gorgeous? Then we have the Round Table for the Wheel. Sovereignty. I think the images on this are really, really beautiful. Uh, the Wounded King. I'm really looking forward to delving into this. Um, that is the Washer at the Ford. See that image there? The Cauldron. Then we have the Green Knight. The Spiral Tower. And the star, the moon, it's a gorgeous card, and the sun. So as you see, it's very different to um, uh, that one is the Sleeping Lord. Very different to um, an RWS deck, but um, this is the flowering of loads. Um, but there was just something about this what really spoke to me. So this one is the Sword Hollow. So this is obviously the sword suit. We're starting with the sword suit now. And then we've got the sword two. Sword three. That's a four. And a five. Sword six. Um, and as it said on the box, um, it's all landscapes um, for the minor, the minor arcana. You you just get in the lands landscapes. So that's eight. Now we're on to nine and ten. So then the sword maiden and the sword knight. The Sword Queen and the Sword King. So that is the swords. The next ones are the spears, which are obviously the wands. So we have the ace. Two. Seven. I think the landscapes look so pretty and I've only heard good things about this deck from people who have it so I thought I would get it and see what I thought and I think it's lovely so this is a spear maiden spear knight but this is one that you're gonna have to study I think spear queen Ooh. spear king so now we go on to the Grail. Let's see the cup suit. That's the one or the ace. 
two, three, we have grail four, grail five, six, seven, eight, grail nine, and grail ten. Then we go on to the maiden. The knight, the queen, and the king. So that is the grail suit. So the last one is um, the stone hallow. So the stone suit, which obviously is the pentacles. Then we have the two. Stone three. Stone four. Stone five. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Then we have the stone maiden. Stone Knight, the Stone Queen, and the Stone King. So that is all 78 cards. And like I said, I'm really looking forward to um, delving into this, this book when my eyes allow me, but I can do one chapter a day, um, and that's all I need to do. Um, and to do the meditations and that, that it, you know, I can't guide you to do and what have you to get to know this deck better. I think it's going to be a really lovely deck to work with and I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into this. And the book is so good. You know, this book, it's got so much um, interesting things in there to, to kind of work with, to get to know the tarot better. Um, it's a whole course um, and it's really interesting and I, and I love how it's all, the, the cards are depicted. Um, and I have got a bag coming, so that that'll be the home for for the bag when it gets here. But instead, of keep separating them because I don't like them separated. Um, but yeah, if you have these decks, I know a lot of you have. Um, I've seen quite a lot of people talking about this. You'll have to let me know um, what you think of it, and if you haven't got it, if if it's something that you know you're interested. In. It wasn't very expensive for the size of the book and everything i think i paid around 15 pound on amazon it wasn't very dear at all um so yeah it was a bargain as far as i'm concerned and i'm looking forward to working with that so that is my walkthrough of the arthurian tarot and this is the um brand new collector's edition um rather than just getting the deck on its own and what have you. So yeah, I think it's something like the 25th anniversary or something like that, I think somebody said. But yeah, so um, that is my walkthrough um, and you will have to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, bye.